I love my beautiful lovies of the world. It's me, Queen Nightmare. And I had to stop reading because, you know what? I was watching some weird ass bullshit. It's called Anime Crack. I have to go downstairs. I found the bathroom with all the creaking. I just went to the bathroom so you don't have to hear me do that. I am so lazy that I am going to read <laughs> in the bathroom. Um, it's going to be the snary story and a lot of people have said, Oh, this isn't right. It's not legal. Technically it is because he did just turn 18. That was before the relationship happened. <sighs> okay. And authors note there may be violence or mentions of abuse in this one. If you don't like it, don't read it. Hey, the author's being. is giving us notes. <laughs> so, Harry's POV. When he, Se- Sevi pull, um, pulled out of me. Oh, fuck. We love that. <laughs> That's a start to a story. When Sevi pulled out of me, there was a knock on the por- on the portrait of his door. I looked at him and the horror on my face. Who would be coming at this time of night? I thought to myself. <laughs> I I'll get it. You put on your clothes, he said, pulling on some sweatpants. Okay, I said. Wait, I didn't even do his voice. I'll get it. You put on your clothes, he said, pulling on some sweatpants. Okay. I said, pulled on, pulled on the white shirt he, (laughs) he was wearing earlier and some boxers. Who is it, Sevy? I called from the couch. A very fat man that wants to see you. With a very fat boy and a scrawny lady. (laughs) We all know who that is. Can it really get any... Wait, but one second, though. They can't come to Hogwarts, can they? Muggles can't come to Hogwarts. Hmm, something isn't right here. He said, and I knew who he was talking about. Well, I think everyone knew who he was talking about. I can't believe Sevy didn't know who he was talking about. That's the one thing I can't believe. So, sorry about that. I'm cleaning something off. <clears throat> I don't want to see them, I said, and the I and I heard an instant shout as I said it. Nonsense, boy. You will see us, Vernon said, and pushed past Sevy. You will not barge into my room and demand to see my fiance, he growled. And they looked at him with horror in the, um, in, on their faces. So you're gay, engaged to a man, he yelled at me. And Sevi came to sit by me as he yelled. Yes, and I'm very happy, I said. E- put that back on. <laughs> Sorry. Doing two things at once is not my strong suit. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I said, taking Sevy's hand, which earned me a slap from all three of them, and Sevy growled. Uh oh, bitch, if you fuck with Sevy's partner, you better be ready to be fucked up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm very weird and lonely. So. <clears throat> I got... I was just speaking shit. Oi. Oi. You will not...
not barge into my room and demand anything from him. And hit him, Sevi yelled. He's our nephew, and we can do whatever we want with him. Say, what, uh, and say what we want to him, and I say he's a, as disgusting as the greasy git in front of me, Vernon yelled, and slapped him, which Sevi responded by attacking him with, and my wings came out ripping his, sh- ripping his shirt. Sevi, calm down, I yelled. But it didn't work, so I had to try and get him off, but that didn't work either. Dudley, keep trying to get him off. I'll run to get the headmaster, I said, and Dudley nodded. I tried pulling Sevy off Vernon, and tried pulling Sevy off Vernon. I flew as fast as I could to Dumbledore's office. I got there and said the password Mars Bars, and flew in, not knocking. Dumbledore, it's Sevy. Follow me, I said. <laughs> I said through pants, um, through pants, and he got he got up and hurried off with me, leaving whoever he was <laughs> he was in his office alone when we got there. Sevy was covered with blood, some of his and some of Vernon's. I'm sorry. I tried to get him off, but. He l- latched on, and I couldn't get him off. I'm so sorry, Harry, Dudley wailed, and his mother looked devastated. Is he a- alive? I asked calmly. Y- yes, but he is But he is knocked out, Petunia spoke. I want you to leave after I fix up Vernon. Dumbled- oh, I want you to leave after I fix up Vernon. Dumbledore said, and fixed Vernon's wounds with a swish of his wand. Now that they are gone, tell me what happened, Harry. Well, we were having sex, and the, and when we were finished, we were laying down. There came a knock on the portrait, and barged in after hearing my voice, and they slapped me because I said I was gay and happy with Sevy. Then Sevy yelled at them, per usual. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to put that up. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Um, I'm itching my belly. Okay. Because I said I was gay and happy with Sevy, and Sevy yelled at them. Vernon yelled back and slapped him, and... Sevy snapped and attacked him. I said, trying not to cry from the recent events. I'm sorry I I ever sent you there, Harry. Sorry, I'm putting my foot on something so it's creaking. I had no idea, really, he said. Looking at Sevy, who I put um I put sitting next eh, who I put in a sitting position next to me on the couch. It's fine. I'll be with Sevi this summer. And I don't ever, I won't ever be going back there, I said, and he nodded. I'll go see if Sevi has any healing potions. So he doesn't have to go to Poppy, he said, walking to Sevi's potions cabinet. Hey, Sevi, are you awake? I asked, and he turned his head to look at me. I almost cried when I saw all the blood and the cuts on his face. I think you scared him for life, scarred him for life by telling him we had sex. He said, chuckling from, then groaning from pain. I know, but I had to explain it from the beginning, I said, looking down, then blushing. What's wrong, babe? He asked. I ripped your shirt, I said shyly. Someone just commented on my picture. Trippy. Akin. I was gonna say Akino, but maybe that is Trippy Akino. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the middle of reading this. It's fine. 
you were scared and your wings couldn't help but get come out, he said, and I didn't reply. Hey, come here. It'll be okay. I have some healing potions in my cabinet, he said, and I cuddled, um, I cuddled up to him, making sure I didn't ma- put him in pain, and Dumbledore came back with a few healing potions, and Sevy took the r- right ones, and Dumbledore went, pu- went to put the others back and left. We should go to, we should go to bed, I said, getting up and helping him to the room. I laid him down, then took off the ripped shirt and cuddled to him again and fell asleep. The next morning, Sevy's POV. I woke up without the pain, any pain and looked down at, Se- um, at Harry, who was cuddled. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another one, Trippy Akino. There, I'm going to give you a shout out. Trippy Akino was kind of laughing when I said reading smart makes you laugh and I don't see the rest of it but I'm like yeah because I relate to it <laughs> because I do make some smut of my own on um on here so I tried to once and I was just like <laughs> I just laughed at myself because I'm so bad at it anyways <laughs> um I woke up with any pain, uh, without any pain, looking down at Harry, who was cuddling, uh, who was cuddled to my side, and smiled. How could someone so kind be abused the way he was? I, f- they didn't, they didn't talk about how he was being abused. So literally, being slapped across the face is just homophobic. I'm sorry, but that doesn't really show abuse in a way. Abuse would be like talk maybe talk maybe you would talk about how he was being abused being slapped across the face is just discipline in a way it depends on the household if they do it for no reason which they just did but that was just like hatred towards being homo like maybe being homophobic a little bit so sorry (laughs) i know that it doesn't make it any better but still they didn't really talk about how he was being um abused so i didn't really see abuse i just saw like really bad discipline of homophobia but anyways (laughs) um i thought to myself when he began to stare morning savvy he said looking at me and smiling morning harry i said and he looked away what's wrong i said I asked, and he he looked at me. I realized we have to go to the great hall for breakfast. I don't want, I don't want to. After what happened last night, he said, looking down once again. You can sit at the teacher's table if you don't wanna explain everything to your friends, or we can make breakfast here. I said, and he looked at me confused. You have a kitchen. He asked, puzzled. Yes, I just never used it, I I said. And at that, he jumped up, put on my robes, and running out, I chuckled, following him to the kitchen. No, out, he said, and I chuckled. But I want to help, I said, pouting, and he stopped to think. I'll let you help if you can top next time. If I can top next time. Bitch, I don't want to imagine that. (laughs) Fuck no. (laughs) But I mean, if you ship that, you can ship it. I'm just, I just don't want to ship it at the moment because I just saw them do it with him being bottom. I don't want to think of him being a top right now. (laughs) Whew. That's just a weird conversation going on. Anyways, <laughs> I'll let I'll let you help if you can if I can top next time. He said, and I contemplated it. <laughs> okay, fine. You top next time, and I help. <laughs> I said, and he pouted. I thought you were gonna say no. He said, and I chuckled. I have no food in here. We'll have to call a house up for some. I said, and he nodded, calling a house elf 
um, house elf, and two of them came back with bacon, eggs, and pancakes. Wait, you'd have to pay, it has to be pancake batter, or he ain't cooking. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> he better be good at the kitchen. He, he, he better not be, the only thing he's good at is sex. That's a deal breaker. <laughs> For me, it's a no for me. <laughs> he needs a hunty to be good in the kitchen and in the bed. That's a waifu. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just being a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. We made um we made breakfast and ate after that. We cuddled on the couch and fed and and fed ourselves. He sat on my lap and nuzzled um to my neck and fell asleep. I brought him to the bed and cuddled to him, falling asleep before Draco barged in and yelled. <laughs> I get to do my Draco voice. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love doing Draco voice. Okay, so I have to get the Draco voice. Potter. Okay. Potter. I'm sorry, I have to get into the, the voice. What's that pose? He yelled, waking me and Harry up. Oh, crap. I need to bleach my eyes now, he added, seeing Harry in his boxers. Bitch, I thought you liked Harry in his boxers. Never mind, wrong series. <laughs> Harry threw a pillow at him and it hit him in the face. We are asl- we were asleep, Jack, Harry said, and Draco tried fixing his hair. <laughs> You didn't have to ruin my hair, he said, walking to the bathroom to fix it. You keep products here for him, he asked. (laughs) You keep products here for him, he asked, and I nodded. That's no fun, he said, and nuzzled. That's no fun, he said. Wait, 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 wait. Who's talking? (laughs) There's three he's, so I need to make sure which one's talking. You keep products here for him, he asked, and I nodded. That's no fun, he said, and nuzzled to me, trying to sleep before Draco marched in with the red hair. What the hell, Porter? he yelled, making Harry look up. I swear I didn't do that. He he said, sitting up. He didn't know about it till now, (laughs) I said, snickering. Really, Sally? Really? (laughs) He asked, and I nodded, and he walked out, possibly going to Dumbledore to fix his hair. (laughs) I'm way too loud. I'm so sorry. (laughs) I relate too much to that. That's basically me in, like, th- third-wheeling my friends' relationships because I get no mans or womans or aliens to like me or go out with me. And when I do, they're only after my body, so I'm really self-conscious <laughs> in a relationship. <laughs> Anyways, author's note. I just found out Sever- uh, Severus's middle name is actually S- Shuns... <laughs> Who? <laughs> English is actually sunshine and I'm dying. (laughs) That was the author's note. Love that. Quality content. So, thank you guys for watching. It's been 19 minutes. That's a world record. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. My longest video was over an hour and it was of one of the Dracula, um, the first Dracula chapter. I can still watch, I can still read Dracula, but I won't make sense of it. It has to be in new, like, it has to be in new English. I can't do old English, because then I'll stutter. I can read the Bible, but I can't read Dracula. Hell no. <laughs> That's why it took me, like, actually with a piece of the first chapter. It took me one hour to read three pages of Dracula. That's how bad it was. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry. Um, my TikTok will be down below. I have seen people start following me, and I have liked a couple of them. 
because they're really funny. I have posted a new TikTok of me putting on my sassy makeup. Don't ask. <laughs> I have a sassy look and I have a regular look. I don't have my black lipstick and I would have. And that would have been my everyday look. But I can't wear my everyday look because my dad. Um, and he's like, you ain't got Get that out of here. He doesn't say that. <laughs> That would be cool if he did, because I wish he knew who that um, YouTuber was, but he hates YouTubers. So, <laughs> that's how, how I'm doing. He also is against gays, so I'm also doing that part. He also hates reaction channels and gamer cha channels. He thinks that they're useless. Hmm. So he, Markiplier... What's that guy's name? PewDiePie. I'm sorry. I, I just saw him in one of the um, crack clips and I just forgot him. I'm sorry. Anyways, guys, be happy, be healthy, and always be loving. Love you. I wish to create a perfect human being, selecting the best.